Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. Um, I've been debating on whether I would even record today, mostly because it's just not been a very good mental health day, as good, I guess you could say. But it's tea time, okay, and this is something I'm very excited about, and I have committed to teas every day and reviewing these teas, so I'm going to stick with it despite how I'm feeling. But me the sweet cinnamon spice masala chai. I tried doing it a little bit more traditionally by steeping it in hot milk and water. It's supposed to boil together. Anyways, I didn't do that. I was a bit too lazy today. But tea time. I feel like I've gotten definitely used to coffee way more. So when I drink tea, it's not as strong of a taste and I keep feeling like the flavor isn't there and I just don't think that my taste buds have adjusted to it honestly but I do get a little bit of the cinnamon flavor and a little bit of the milk too I definitely taste the spices I like this I feel like more than a lot of the other teas it's got a little bit more flavor but personally, I still really like the oolong tea the best, I think. That being said, um, yeah. Today I woke up and barely got myself out of bed. I laid in bed for two hours just on my phone and really just got into that negative, that mindset of like, wow, you've already wasted so much time and you're just being really lazy, piece of garbage, low energy levels, and it just, the negative thoughts just continued to build on top of each other. Eventually I finally got the energy to get myself out of bed, force myself to get all ready for the gym, drove all the way there, told myself I'd have a good workout, but I couldn't even bring myself to walk inside. Again, not doing the best mentally today, but I came home and skipped on the workout. I knew it was not going to end up going well, just where my mental state was at. and just decided to start cleaning and that has already helped just cleaning a little bit i felt like just a big stress was taken off by doing this small little act today and while i was cleaning i had some worship music playing and the song came up trust you by caleb and bethany Krenzel. and it said trials are temporary you know the beginning and the end. And it really hit me and I just stopped doing everything that I was doing. Just that reminder that whatever I'm going through right now, it's a trial sent by God. Something to cause me to lean into him more. So that is what I'm trying to do. I feel a little bit better right now. But we shall see how the rest of the day goes. I have a couple hours before I have to be at work. And I'm hoping that all of these negative thoughts kind of get turned away. I was debating on recording any of this, uh, but the, because I didn't want it to be such negative stuff, and I don't, I don't want people to think I want pity, because I'm also the kind of person who would usually shut down and isolate myself if I'm not doing the greatest. <laughs> But I also know that knowing other people are going through similar struggles as me is very encouraging to know that I am not alone in the times that I do feel alone. So I want to share this and hope that somebody gets that reminder that they need today.
everyone and welcome to my messy life yet again. Um, I just did chest and triceps at the gym as you just saw and boy did it feel good to be able to like get a workout in. Just I've not been doing well these last few days, mentally at least, and that just kind of started to really take a toll on my eating habits and my physical health and I was just not feeling good overall. And so this morning I actually went to the chiropractor and I got adjusted, got a massage, and wow, that did so, so much for my mind. Like, it was crazy. I've just been having the worst brain fog and it was just causing really low energy levels. And once I got adjusted, I guess, I, I always forget how much, like when you hold so much tension in your neck and shoulders from stress, it can actually restrict blood flow to your brain causing that brain fog, causing that low energy. So it was almost like an immediate change. I walked out of there feeling like a whole new person. So that was really great. So I came in, had a really good workout. Yesterday, I just took the day off recording aside from the tea taste test, whatever you call it. Um, just wasn't doing well mentally, but after like really not wanting to go to work, it was crazy to just see how much my day changed also because by the end of the night, I felt so much better in the sense of like, I went to work and all of my tables, they were just so, so kind yesterday, just blew me away. And it just really goes to show how far like a simple act of kindness goes in someone's day to day life, especially when they're just like feeling really low, just simply saying thank you, smiling, and that kind of stuff, it goes so far, made me feel so much better. And so, yeah, today I gotta go get some things done. We have the Oregon Symphony today. They are doing a Christmas concert. Very excited for that. I've been to one of those before, but it's been a few years, so I'm gonna take you along for that. And Emma has another game, so <sighs> hoping she feels better about this one today than she did last time, so. Let's go. All right, so I showered cleaned up my room a little bit and now I'm going to try and edit a little bit before I have to get ready for the stuff happening later today but today we have the sweet, I think it was called the sweet Himalayan detox green tea last green tea I had I felt like was really basic not anything special and didn't have all that much flavor so I am feeling a little bit skeptical of this one but we will see how this turns out. I'll let you know if it's how it tastes. Oh, also, a cup you saw brought to you by Tennessee. Oh. Okay, that one is actually really good. That one actually does taste sweet but not like sugar sweet that is probably my favorite one so far i am pleasantly surprised that one is the best one heck yeah also these cookies are we all well, think it's the biscoff cookies yeah they're the ones that they hand out on the delta planes to the game. We were actually on time today. Go us. And we're gonna book it here book it to the symphony right after. So we're gonna be like I think half time. We are leaving.
you played better than last time, right? Yeah, we're gonna play better than last time. Yes, that's the spirit. That's the mentality. That's the mentality. saw my morning started off a little bit different than it usually does I overslept yet again surprise surprise I'm really on a roll this week obviously but that being said um, it was really nice because I overslept for the gym so I didn't have time for that but I had woken up early enough to be able to just take my time this morning and I actually you know went made my bed ate some breakfast, talked to my family a little bit. What a nice change. Um, but yeah, on my way to work now, I'll probably go to the gym later today. We do have some other things going on as well. So I will take you along for that if you are interested. So we get home from work. It was a short and easy day. There's this lady at work. Total sweetheart. She always makes sure that I eat. So anytime I come in there, and it's been a couple hours and she hasn't made me any food, she comes up to me and she's like, did you eat? Do you need me to make you some food? Are you hungry? And she calls me princessa. And when I was gonna leave, she was like, you're leaving, but are you hungry? Do you want me to make you a salad? So. She made me a salad. Total sweetheart. I'm back to you for my car. Jeez, it is getting so cold. It's 46 degrees out, which is not all that bad. But I don't know why 46 is feeling extremely cold right now. Anyways, um, I'm just not going to the gym. I did not go immediately. I saw my piano and I was like, oh, I'll play for like 10 minutes. I ended up playing for almost an hour. So now I'm running late, that's for sure. So we're gonna go hurry, get a quick. Okay. So we're gonna hurry, go get a quick hamstring and glute workout in. Um, of course, got the pre-workout and all, but. All right, let's go. All right, so I made it out of the gym. Not gonna lie, I just recorded another clip and I totally broke down in it. I don't know if I'm gonna share that one or this one just because that was me and I ended up accidentally being way more vulnerable than I'd expected. And I don't know how ready I am to put that on the internet. 
Um, but that being said, I made it to the gym. I was really struggling mentally to get in there and to do anything and I'm really proud of myself because I pushed through and just got myself to do something. Even if it wasn't the best workout I've ever had, I managed to push myself through it. So I'm proud of myself for doing that. And I'm just remembering that the trials are temporary. These dark days are just gonna be a blip in my timeline. And I know that one day I'm gonna look back at this and I'm gonna be so grateful that I was put through these trials. Because I'm gonna see the reward at the end. The devil wouldn't be fighting this hard against me if I weren't doing what God was had intended for me. And as hard as that is, it is the most encouraging thing that I can possibly hold on to. Thanks for listening to my little emotional talk. I hope that it was a reminder for anyone who's struggling to just keep trucking on. Keep trucking. Out of the concert, and now we're gonna grab up. Ah! She is mocking me. <laughs> um, is she doing a good job? What do you guys think? <laughs> cold. I've been cold all day. My hands are so cold. I almost didn't even work out today because no. I was so cold. <laughs> Hello, everyone. A lot of reviews yeah. coming for you. Whoa. This is a. That is interesting. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that tea. That is so interesting. This is the turmeric ginger herbal tea to Zane. Yeah, oh, those for me. Those are cool. <laughs> yeah, you're having cat food. How much do I put in? That's an interesting tea. Yeah, I'm not sure put in. That's your way of saying I don't like it. No, I mean, I like it. I don't think you're gonna like it. I mean, stem Ooh, that that like definitely like punches you in the head, but okay. I like that punch. Yeah, let's, let's, I like this one. Let's test this now. I want normal food though. I haven't. Yeah, I mean, Ready? Cheers. Alright, no. orange roll. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Cheers. Mm -mm. I one, really like that one. I really judge a book by its cover, and I think I did a good job. It's kind of good. Mm, really I don't good. like. I, I thought I would have liked it because of citrusy. I don't really like lemon bars or nothing like that. But this one's actually good. I I, I thought this one was gonna be really good. The frosting, I think, is uh, mm -hmm. cream cheese based. I love it. We have peanut butter brittle. Cheers. Yeah. That is super good. It's like a butterfinger. I always ate my Butterfingers with Capri Sun. Like, take a bite of Butterfinger and then drink Capri Sun afterwards. And it softens it. It actually got really good. I have no story with Butterfingers. I just don't really eat them. It melts in lava. It's dripping. Okay, guys. Cheers. Oh. That is so good. Next one up is sea salt toffee. That is super good. Oh, this is good. Way better than the regular milk chocolate chip one. Oh my goodness. These are all so good this week. <laughs> Alright, overall, the cookies this week are a success. Guys, hold on. Can you see <laughs> um, We're finishing up editing my video. I edited. She's now going to look for my thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I'm helping. Um, but that being said, <laughs> this is going to be the end of this video, oh, so, so I hope you all enjoyed it. She helped me figure out my comments. Turns out my comments were turned off. I'm not even a YouTuber, bro. That being said, guys, actually comment on this video. She didn't know what YouTube Studio was, bro. I don't know really what I'm doing, obviously, so. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for coming along. And come back next time. Yeah, come back for the next one, too, yeah. Okay, goodbye.